we have a big animal surrender. We have 10 animals coming in today. If they come charging at me, I will cry. Cock-a-doodle. So many donkeys. Little donkeys, black donkeys, white donkeys. It's donkey day. Is a puncture? Oh, it's infected. There's the big guy. 18-3, holy cow. working on the shop today and if you go to our website which is horseplushumanesociety.org up here at the top click on store and you can go in here and see all of our new products I'm in the process of adding some and, and revising some of our um, older designs but one of the things I'm most excited about is the stickers maybe a little child at heart here with the stickers but we got some new designs here and uh, I think this one might just be my favorite. We have this particular design in multi on multiple products including uh, kids t-shirts as well so go ahead to our website at horseplushumanesociety.org and click the store tab and uh, go get something from the shop and all the proceeds from the store go directly to help the horses so yeah go check it out So we're on our way to get this golf cart unstuck. One of our employees drove it in a ditch, so we gotta go get it, get it out. There you go. It's a pretty wide variety of what we get out here. We do everything out here. <laughs> We have Kicker loaded up. We are taking him to Hohenwald Animal Hospital today to get a hernia repaired. We should be there for the next couple of hours, so we hope that they could uh, get something good done on him. I have a card for our local Walmart. They have donated us some supplies. So we decided to get all of our employees to sign a card and give to them. So if you'd like to drop this off, we'd like to hand deliver it today. Yeah, awesome. I can totally do that. All right, thank Thanks. you. Thank you guys again for all your help and support. supposed to be uh, a couple of pigs which we have not had pigs since 2020 I think we don't get pigs very often and we have several goats coming in and I think a couple of donkeys as well so they're on their way so I'm gonna go let everybody know and uh, yeah we can be ready for when they get here
someone just surrendered 10 animals. Um, they had two pigs, four goats, two mini donkeys, and two cats. And it was um, surprisingly not that bad getting them all off the trailer. The pigs were a little dramatic, but the rest of them went pretty well. And so we'll just get them checked by the vet and then put them up for adoption. I was at another job when they called me, ah. and I had to come and uh, swap out personnel. Oh! So I got to hold the horse uh, while they were doing procedures and stuff oh, like that, and get to drive Big Red back here so we can unload. It looks like the surrender is here, so let's go get them checked in. There's just this mare here. Um, all I know about her is someone dropped her off. Uh, they wanted 400 bucks for her. And Chris Little had her on her list, his list, to uh, ship. Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I've seen so many videos. So how was that auction? Um, it was good. I mean, I definitely came into contact, more contact than I thought I was going to with the people who were responsible for this. So originally how I got found you guys was my blind horse, Ivan, that I, that was my first, yeah, my first rescue. I tried to do it rogue and I had tried for over a year to like find him a good home and I just didn't feel good about me doing it so my neighbor was like have you heard of horse plus like i've heard great things about them this that the other and i was like well i guess they they have more networking than i do and yeah. can verify you well know. any of the auctions that you go to like yeah. i know you funded this one but yeah. we'd be more than happy to fund that would be awesome it makes it difficult for us because we can't always just go in and then they they jack the prices up and everything. Right. So they want to work with anyone that's in the rescue mindset. Yeah. Because they they think, oh, okay, I'll be nice to them here, and then when I have them at the feedlot, yeah. I'll say, oh, well, it costs this much, it costs that much, and they jack the prices up. Right. So uh, kill buyers in Tennessee are very friendly. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah, if you look for it, you will find it. So yeah, um, it was a pleasure and yeah, she's a beautiful you. horse. She's horse so friendly. Her. She just needs some weight on her and I'm a full-time nurse so I just don't have the time to put it on her and you know, yeah. do well, that. So I appreciate you guys do. No, I appreciate you guys because I couldn't do, my husband would slaughter me. So <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do this if you guys didn't do what you did. I just genuinely want horses to get a good home and lost potential not to be found is just wasted on these beautiful creatures that have given their whole lives to humans and always done what they asked and not complained and just go with the flow and it's terrible that someone would want to take advantage of an animal and just use it for every cent that they could get out of it. and. I get so much joy out of my horses that I have at home and I hope that these ones can get a second chance and make somebody else's life as just as enriched as my life has been bringing the horses home. So it is auction day and I'm getting the auction box ready. Um, for our medical team as well as our intake team for tomorrow morning. So we are making sure that we have everything set for however many horses we're able to save. But we have multiple types of pain meds. Um, we have bandages, gauze, vet wrap, salve to put on any injuries. We got scissors if we've got to cut off any twine or rope. Um, they've done a really good job of making sure that we have everything we could need. So I'm not sure how many we'll be able to save, but we are going to be able to treat them tonight and then let the team know tomorrow morning to be able to treat them again to make their ride back to our shelter as comfortable as possible. And then tomorrow's intake day. This is Lady. Yep, she's making progress with all of her medication. She's still losing all the old hair that had the infection, 
But all this little baby hair that's coming in nice and healthy, that's staying. Well, she's got an infection going down in the behind the fetlock too, which doesn't help. Hoof flex, this helps with drying, cracking, chipping, um, antibacterial, antifungal, so it just helps like give some extra support to the hoof. And her hooves are just like the rest of the body. They're just gonna take a while. Rain rot, scratches, cannon bone, scurf. She's got it all. But she also has baby hair, so yay for stuff working. She has been here three weeks now, I think. She's doing well, she's gaining weight. Finally getting this whole situation. I think we're gonna keep losing hair for a little while, but the fact that we got all the baby hair growing back is really promising. She's a good girl. All right, y'all, it looks like Kit Kat's adopters are here, so let's go get them checked in and so they can see them. I've always dreamed of owning one this color and just with the white on their face. And I've always wanted to name them Buckle, so that's going to be his name. So I'm very excited. So I know about Horse Plus from Facebook. I follow y'all and I look at the page constantly. I love seeing updates on them. It's all Kit Kat from when y'all went to the slaughter and y'all posted pictures. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, I love that horse. And so then I decided to get Kit Kat. He's been a dream horse I've wanted. He's perfect. I care less if he don't really do much at all. He can be a little pasture pet. He is amazing. So I totally recommend anyone to come here. It is perfect. If they come charging at me, I will cry. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, Mr. Piggy. Cock a doodle. Doodle. Good morning. I'm... Some of us have hard Tuesdays, don't we? Tell me about it. Oh, tell me about it. If that's a growl, I'll run. Is he okay? I think he's snoring. Well, they. I had a lady call and say that she needed to surrender some mini pigs. So I do want to first start off by saying that would not be considered mini to me. Um, they're really, really sweet. Right now, they're just two peas in a pod, sitting down, napping a whole lot, eating, sleeping, napping. That's pretty much their their day. But that one, whenever I would pet him, he would just he would just be so happy. So if you go on our website. There's different tabs at the top, and if you click on our adoption tab, it'll come down and all of our available animals that we have for adoption will be listed right there along with their picture and a little bit of information. If they are in quarantine, there'll also be a picture of the horse and it will say that it's in quarantine and um, when it will be coming up for adoption. So that's exciting for you to be able to see if there's any animal that you would like to see if they're available, check out our website. Just to clear something up, all of our episodes are released a week after they've been filmed. Therefore, the horses that you see in the episodes are not always available. So the best thing to do is to go to our website, go to the adoptions page, and look at the available horses that are currently on the website. That is your best bet to know what horses we have available. So this is Chestnut. You have experience with horses? What's we do. Your, okay. Yeah. Uh, this would be my first horse. So with Chestnut, I would say it's most important to just kind of don't let him get away with things. Yeah. Because he can be that kind of horse to just Pushy. be like, oh, I'm going to plow you down. I'm going to try to step on you. I'm going to try to do this or that or whatever. He was way worse when he left the first time. He, The person who adopted him before was a trainer. She brought him back, and he was like way better. How long for, did she have him She for? only had him for about a month, I think. And so she was able to work with him on stuff. But um, with him, it's just, I would say, pretty important to just make sure you keep your boundaries clear with him because otherwise he'll, he might try to take advantage of you. 
Like any horse can become dangerous if you don't have good boundaries with them, so. Do you think you want to take him home? I think yeah. probably do. They're getting chestnut. I found Horse Plus through a friend she adopted from here, and she told me about it, so I got on y'all's website. I have spent a lot of time looking through your website, and Chestnut kind of stood out to me, so. It was really great. It was uh, simple, and it wasn't very time consuming. I would pretty much get in, get out, and I got a horse out of the deal, so yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We are taking apart our round pen. We have our tractor guys coming out tomorrow. They're actually gonna build it up about a foot and then bring sand in to re-sand it. And we are gonna put conveyor belts around the bottom. So like mats, we have some over there that might work for it. And I think we might even add a panel or two to the round pen to make it a little bit bigger so we have more room to actually try to slope the horses in there. got it all taken apart. The tractor guys will be here in the morning to start working on it. That barn's coming along. I've got all the stalls uh, pretty much rough framed, clear through. I still got to put the backs on, but uh, it's coming along pretty good. This side of the barn, uh, probably a week and a half, two weeks. I'll have all the stalls done, the steel done. Maybe not the stall fronts on yet, but I'm working on that too. As soon as I get all the steel and stuff on, I'm gonna be putting the stall fronts on. Well, it is auction day here at Horse Plus. We are headed to auction this afternoon here in a few hours, but uh, yeah, everybody's uh, getting lots of work done today. Jason's working on a editing project and uh, Haley is also working on editing. She's actually editing Horse Rescue Heroes season three, which is coming next year. Um, and Tawny's working on planning for the next trip here for filming. And we've got all the indoor staff working as well. Kimberly's working on adoptions. CJ's working on adoption we have currently right now. And um, John, he's filming all the adoptions. This week, actually Isabella and him this week flipped. So she's actually editing um, what was shot last week by her and John is actually filming this week and he'll be editing the auction episode. So, and then over at the uh, writing arena, we've got, uh, or the round pen, sorry. We've got Sailor, she's working on stuff and uh, Alyssa, she's out catching horses, and also Keaton's out uh, feeding. He's out there driving around on the uh, side by side, getting all the horses fed. And uh, Corey is working with the adoptions as well and getting horses uh, for that. So it is busy morning here, but we're going to be headed off to auction here soon. Uh, we've got the usual crew of Keith and Angela, Tawny and Jason, me, and also uh, Haley and Macy will be coming along this time to get all the uh, TikToks and all those different things that you guys love watching done, which if you haven't actually, check out our TikTok channel uh, over at Horsey Main. Uh, we also have Instagram at Horsey Main um, and of course Facebook and YouTube, so where you're watching this on. So yeah, busy morning here at Horse Plus and uh, I think Corey's gonna get the uh, trucks and trailers hooked up here soon and uh, we'll be hitting the road pretty soon, so.
Okay, well, we are ready to go. You guys both ready to head out? Yeah. Awesome. Got your Pringles, you're ready to go. Cool. Uh, I think you guys are riding with Jason and Tawny and uh, John, Isabella. Yeah. We're headed out. Oh, wow, well, you're ready so already. We're pretty much ready to head out. So okay. I know that um, tomorrow there's supposed to be something, or I think maybe even today, something happening That's with the uh, round pen. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll kick it back over to you while we're over there at auction. Oh yeah. And um, you guys are about to see what's happening back here while we are at auction this yep. afternoon. So we'll, we'll jump back and forth with yeah. what's happening here at the shelter and also what's gonna be happening with us when we're out there. But it's something to do with the round pen. Yep. So you guys will have to see what that yep. is. But I'll, I'll be recording enjoy editing. So, um, yeah. We've got yeah a video coming out um, in a few days. So they're getting that pretty much done. And so, I've got all my stuff already packed up. So I think we are I'm good to go. Let's see if Jason and Tony are ready. You guys ready? You guys ready to head out? Yeah. Uh, so my battery has been terrible on my phone, and I, I was I'm trying to get this little battery because um, I have so many technical difficulties. It's really sad. Well, hopefully she can get her battery to. Hope yeah. Hope you can get your battery to work, Tony. We are pretty much we're headed out, guys. How many horses did you think we're gonna get? Uh, thirty. Thirty. I'm gonna get 30. Tony says 30. Right, what do you think? 45. She says 45. 36. And Tanner says 36. Okay. <laughs> well. That's a little extreme, girls. Well, we'll okay. see. We'll, we'll, hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get lots of horses. What do you think, Jason? 22 horses and three donkeys. So 22 45. horses and three donkeys. Yeah. Look at our adoption world. All these, all these horses, all this month, just this month. So. I think Keith has got the uh, the truck and uh, trailer pulled around, and Jason's got his trailer. So I think we are pretty well ready to hit the road. Well, we are on the road and I am already working on editing um, up this video in the car and uh, Keith and Angela are up there driving along and uh, I'm going to ask Angela a couple questions real quick. So yeah, Angela, what you working on? I'm working on Facebook Messenger. Awesome. And uh, how have you been enjoying the, being the new shelter manager? I'm loving it. I love my job. Um, I love our team. It's been an amazing beginning of the year. Um, I'm amazed at all the things we've accomplished, over 100 adoptions in three months. Yeah, and amazing. over 600 horses helped in total um, through grants and um, rescues. It's just mind blowing. So yeah. It's been a great year so far. I'm yeah, excited to see what goes from here. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be one of our best years yet. So. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see. If the first few months are anything to tell by, then it should be. So. It's, it's amazing. Awesome. And Keith is uh, is driving along. Hi all. It's going good. We'll catch up with Keith a little bit later once we get to auction as well. But, but yeah, it's about a three hour drive to the auction. So we're just driving along here. Got the trailer on the back, obviously, and just uh, about halfway. So um, a little more to go and uh, we'll catch back in with you once we get closer. We're just pulling up to the gas station here, and uh, Keith is going to uh, fill her up. Always, we always try to get gas before, just so that anything happens, we always got gas. So Keith is going to get it filled up, and Jason, Tony are over there. Which actually, I'm going to run over there and see them before they pull out. And uh, let me check in with Angela here. I think Jenna said that Jenna said she's there already, and Jenna said that we have. There's a bunch of animals there, right? Yes, about 50 about right now. Yeah, 20, it sounds like 20 donkeys, 50 all together. So, could be a long night. Could be a long night. And I think I just saw Jason and Tawny um, drive by. Let's see if I can find them. Maybe they already, I uh, think they're headed over already. Yep, there they are. So yeah, they are gonna head over there. 
And as soon as uh, Keith gets done filling up with the tank, we'll be headed over as well. Just pulled in here at the auction and uh, it is packed. Pulling in, there's a lot of cars in this parking lot. So the crew is all here. I think Jason already just walked up, but we've got Jenna here, Keith, Haley Macy, and Casey as well. Casey? Yeah, Casey. I, I forgot her name. That was my bad. But yeah, we're going to head in and, uh, and uh, see what horses there are tonight. So Jenna, what are we seeing tonight? So many donkeys. There are big donkeys, little donkeys, black donkeys, white donkeys, tons of donkeys. Got a couple horses. There's one that looks in really good condition, just looks like it has an eye tumor, but other than that, looks pretty good. So a lot of Tennessee Walker horses here per usual, but it's donkey day. Donkey day, cool. We're all gonna go in and see what we can get. So this is one of the pens of donkeys. We got three donkeys and I think one that's a henny. Corey's been teaching me a lot, so I think that one's a henny. Um, but this little guy is a little mini donkey. He is precious. Him and the little henny have been fighting over attention. And so I spent a lot of time with him because he loves to be loved and he's just adorable. But the other two are really good too. I think they might have lice. Um, this one in the back has a lot of hair loss. They're extremely itchy. Um, the bigger white one was just rolling and rubbing on everything. The little henny's got a lot of hair loss on the hind end too. So if we can rescue any of these, we're doing a lot of skincare on them to make them comfier. We're walking around the auction here to see what there is. And um, yeah, is there ones around here as well? Yes, yeah, so right over here, we got this sweet little skinny one. And we got a little pony back here um, who's starting to get some flipper hooves. So probably definitely got some founder going on. Maybe some cushions given the hair coat. And this one's underweight and a lot of stall weaving. So might have some issues there. Might have been pent up for a while, but she just does a lot of head weaving when she's just staying in here. So hopefully we can get her and kind of help her out too. That looks just like Pip that we used to have. There's like a little mini mule, mini henny something and it's tiny and I bet it packs a punch. <laughs> So we were able to save quite a number of them from uh, actually going through the ring. We were able to get them before the auction even started. We got these two Belgiums and then two other horses right here. And uh, so far it's going good. I, I think we rescued 10 so far. We always check the uh, slaughter report before we come to auction, and this week it's pretty discouraging. Uh, slaughter prices are between 50 and 50 cents and a dollar a pound, so a thousand pound horse could be up to a thousand dollars and still be in the slaughter price range. It makes it just even more expensive to rescue them, and that's why we really need support. We are just outside here getting set up. Jason's getting his phone set up for a live feed that we'll do. And uh, a lot of times you've seen the videos auction night up on YouTube. Um, that's what we're about to do right now. So Jason records, well, we, we do it as a live video and then we publish that live video onto YouTube as well. So, so yeah, we're gonna get uh, and do a quick live here. Yeah, I'm ready, One, as I'll ever be. One, two, three. Hey everybody, it's Jason here at the auction tonight, um, helping out a bunch of horses. I have some great news. We were able to save 10 animals before the auction even started, which is actually starting in a couple minutes. So I can't be on here a terribly long time. It's going to be a good night, but with the slaughter prices up, we actually really need you to click on that donate button. Even $5, $10, it's gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna save a life. It's, it's gonna be just what we need is your support. Oh, you oh, hey Keith. Hey, how's it going today? Good, good, we're live on yeah. Facebook. Oh. Hi everyone, I <laughs> uh, just ran into a, a uh -huh. lady out there and she just donated $500 cash. Ooh, wow, that is awesome. That so is. I figured that... I'd find you and give it to you so maybe it'll help out yeah, tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So that is, that is the amazing thing about auctions is people actually come here to meet our staff and, and to donate. And yeah. I, I can't thank them enough. So 
thank you guys so much for watching. Again, auction prices. So Jason is still filming over here right now, and actually, um, we're filming TikToks too. So as I mentioned earlier, um, our TikTok channel, we put a lot of stuff up there. A lot of like the stories of animals and stuff like that, we'll put up there. Um, so that's what Haley and Macy are working on. They're getting TikTok stories up. And I think we just finished the live video. So we're gonna head back in, see what other horses there are. I think we may be moving some of the ones, that, some of the 10 that we already bought. I think we're actually gonna move them, try to get them back into some nicer area, get some photos for them and, uh, and go from there. So, um, and also Tawny is back at the hotel and she's doing some very important stuff as well. So she's back there and she is, getting donations. Actually, I'll, I'll let her talk. Um, so over to you, Tawny. Explain what you're doing over there back at the hotel while we're all here uh, in the action of the auction. There's a lot of back-end uh, stuff that happens on the admin side of a big rescue like this and letting our supporters know what's happening, uh, posting out the stories. You know, some of these auction rescues can go till midnight, one o'clock. Um, it really just depends on how many horses are there. So. Um, the team's at the auction, they're sending in pictures and data I'm posting in our supporter group. I'm also making little videos to put on our Facebook page. Uh, I know Angela is uh, able to take phone calls uh, for donations, um, so she didn't go to the auction either because there's not good sell service for that, so she's working on that. Um, and then I also keep track of fundraising where we're at and uh, just a whole lot of back-end uh, stuff, which is not the fun part of rescue. Um, but I'd say it's a pretty crucial part of telling the story of what's happening uh, because if we don't get funds to rescue, shelter, and protect horses, you know, we wouldn't be able to help the hundreds and hundreds of horses that we've, we help um, every month. Well, it is packed here tonight, I will say that. Uh, we got a beautiful sunset behind us, which has been awesome to see. Um, and it is pretty packed here. Lots of people and lots of animals too. A ton of donkeys, as you've heard from Jen and from uh, Jason. So um, we actually, the auction is actually about to start. So we're not able to move any of those, like I just mentioned that we could um, until uh, after the auction is done. But Jason's headed in there. Jenna and the crew is about to head in there, and uh, I will be too. But um, it's been a it's been a good night so far, and uh, we uh, we also have a, a fan here, uh, a few different fans here actually tonight. And so later on in the episode, um, we'll get to hear uh, from allegedly our number one fan. So um, we'll get an interview with him, and, and you guys will get to meet him as well. Um, so yeah, let's head into the auction and uh, see what we can get. Well, I just stepped out of the auction wing and uh, you wouldn't believe it, but we have so far rescued 24 animals, 24. I just asked Jason how many, we're at 24. I believe out of those 24, about 10 or more of those are donkeys. There is a lot of donkeys here tonight. Um, so yeah, 24 animals so far, but um, the auction is not anywhere near done. Um, so our, our goal is uh, around 30, so we'll see how many more we can get. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been going pretty good, pretty smooth so far. Um, it takes a fair bit to rescue these horses, but that is what our mission is about, is to rescue as many horses as we possibly can from the slaughter pipeline. So, and we've got uh, kill buyers here tonight. We've got a big truck coming in right now, and um, there's definitely, um, some of them there in the auction ring who have been buying up some of the horses too, but um, where we can, we are buying them as much as we can. So 24 already, and um, I'm gonna head back in and see how many more we, we've gotten. We've probably gotten a few even while I've been out here, but um, yeah, 24 so far. So I'm gonna head back in and, uh, and uh, we'll keep you updated. And of course, once we're done with the auction, um, we'll be going through all of them tonight and I will let you know the, the exact total of how many we got. So I'm gonna head back in but there's a little update while we can't film in the auction ring, um, at least a little bit of an update so that you guys can know uh, what's happening. So Macy, how has your first auction experience been today? It's really hard to see all these animals come in with all these injuries. Um, 
Yeah, I there's don't know how to finish no, this. yeah, there's a lot of horses here with injuries. Um, several of them were limping as they came through the auction ring, and it's always it's always sad to see, um, especially if it's your first time coming to an auction. It's it can be kind of uh, it can be kind of an interesting experience. And uh, you're working on what are you working on when you're here, uh, filming wise? So I'll be working on the videos for the supporter page and updating everybody about all the horses that we've gotten tonight and rescued. Awesome. So yeah, um, Macy is working on yeah the supporter group. So that wonderful content that you guys get to see when you pay in the supporter group, um, a lot of that is being done by Macy. So I'm here with Haley now. Uh, we just talked to Macy, and now we're here with Haley. Um, and what's it's been? What, what's it been like for you this time coming to the auction for the first time as well? Um, I'd say um, it's kind of surprising um, seeing all the horses that actually come to auction. Um, some of the severe cases that I've seen um, as far as like injuries, it makes me really sad. It kind of breaks my heart that they're here and not at a shelter. But um, it's, it's definitely an experience and I think everyone should try to experience this at least once in their life because you never know what goes on. Yeah, you really don't get to see where what it's like for these horses that are in the slaughter pipeline going through different auctions you don't really get to see and really feel what that's like until you actually are at an auction once you're at an auction you're able to see there's some horses that have multiple stickers on them. that means they've been to multiple auctions um, horses that shouldn't even be coming through a ring like that they're limping through the ring there was one horse in particular and we, we didn't have any footage of it but in the, in the auction ring because we can't film in there, but uh, it literally came in hopping on three legs as it came into the ring. Um, just tragic to see. But uh, And then what have you been doing since you've been here today? I know, I think TikTok, right? Yes, I've been doing some TikTok reels, getting some footage, um, getting those ready for tonight and for tomorrow, and should be airing some more tomorrow when we get back to the shelter. So I'm here with uh, allegedly our number one fan Absolutely. named Donnie. And, uh, and tell us a little, little bit about yourself. I just love animals and I, I've been coming up here for quite a while and actually I should be mad at y'all because y'all bit up my first horse like y'all just kept raising me. Uh, when was that? A few years ago or? No, this was like what, like two months ago or okay. so? Yeah, but yeah, and I, I follow y'all on TikTok and uh, YouTube and the Facebook. Like I watch every video. Awesome. Well, hey, we appreciate it. I love what y'all sure. do. We do. We love what y'all are doing. Well, we appreciate it. Um, if you were, you know, would you recommend Horse Plus to anybody and, and stuff like that? Or? Absolutely. Like, y'all already got one of our horses. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> so tonight, there was one of the horses that we ended up purchasing that they kind of like the, the look of. So uh, you never know. Maybe you guys will uh, come by in 30 days once it's uh, gone through all this quarantine and, and uh, maybe you guys will adopt it. You never know. From us, so yeah, there you go. Anything else you want to say on camera while we're here? If y'all if y'all are looking to either you know help out or whatever, y'all need to check these people out because what they do is an amazing thing. It like they save horses' lives, so check them out. Well, I'm with the whole crew here, and um, how many did we get, Jenna? Well, we've been debating. How much was it? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. We think it's thirty-five. Um, Jason is still uh, is still in the office, I think, getting paperwork. So we thought we were done. We thought we were done, and Jason walked away. <laughs> and then a really sad mini came that we think might have a broken leg, and we couldn't let that go anywhere else. We had to make sure that we could take care of that horse and get it pain meds immediately and do what we had to do tomorrow. Yeah. So we think we're 35, but Jason will confirm that. But um, what are we gonna go do now? What do you what, you got a clipboard and everything out? What's, what's so we I've taken notes the whole time. I got a binder so it's more efficient, but of everything that went through, Keith's gonna go get the med box. Oh, Keith's got the meds. Keith has the med box. Wow. So it's time oh, to go things, it's time to go through and see who needs some medication. So how many horses, Jason? We were debating on it and we weren't quite sure. Uh thirty-five horses. Thirty-one thirty-nine. At a total cost of seventeen thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> Almost twenty thousand dollars to rescue those horses tonight, but it is so worth it. Every one of them is so precious, and just even walking back here, I passed one of the pens where a bunch of our horses are, and the poor little white one is just holding its foot up. It is in so much pain. It's okay. Oh, it's like cut up. Mm -hmm. It is. There is heat. There's some blood in the foot. So maybe not broke. So. 
Jenna's seen that it's cut up. Maybe not broke. Some blood. Maybe not broke. She's Some damage. Seen, but maybe but not obviously broke. very much in pain. Hey, baby. Um, is holding it up. Um, it was very much limping when it came through the ring. Oh. Oh, Lord. We got a flashlight. What are you seeing up here, Jenna? Is a puncture? Oh, it's infected. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. It's okay, baby. So I'm assuming a puncture wound because there is, is bubbling and there is purulent discharge and oh goodness. So Keith, you just ended up bringing the entire box. I just brought it because she said there was stuff in here. I did not see it. Okay, so we got the entire vet box here. And talk, talk to me, Jana, about the vet box. Uh, it's pretty useful for you, huh? It is, it's literally, well, we tried to pack anything and everything we could think of from pain meds to, let's go ahead and give it butless too. So yeah, anything and everything in here that we could ever, even pair of scissors, all kinds of stuff, so. Yes, the scissors were in addition this morning. Having fun up there, Keith? I always have fun. You always I, like, have fun. I love coming to auctions. You love auctions? Yeah, oh, auctions yeah. are fun to come to. What are we giving this one? We're gonna get banamine as well. Um, this was one that they claimed just had a long hoof. And there's a little bit more to the story about how bad this horse was limping. So I just got done doing the live feed to update everybody on Facebook how many uh, horses we rescue and everything. And uh, it's best to do about a three minute, uh, maybe four or five minute live feed. And I just got to talking and I did a seven minute live feed. So tonight I've done okay about 15 minutes of live feed, which is kind of fun, but it gets a little tiring holding your phone up there for, you know, seven minutes straight without like setting it down on something. So anyway, it was, it was fun updating everybody, had good interaction, like 400 people watching. So you definitely, if, if you have a Facebook, you've got to like our page, you've got to watch our live feeds at the auction because we can't, do live feeds on Facebook and YouTube and our Facebook we have 300,000 people that like us and on YouTube we're growing but we only have like 75,000 subscribers so definitely if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you uh, like our Facebook page too and catch those live feeds at the auction. Janet is getting the last horse its medications right now. I think they just got it too, some butelis. And did I hear over here something about we got another horse? Somebody's like, hey, can you, can you guys buy this horse? It was after the sale. It, it has a big knee. Um, so basically it's got something wrong with one of its front knees and it's in pain. Jenna's uh, giving it some pain medication right now. But uh, so of course we said yes. So that's 36 horses saved tonight. Tonight was an amazing auction rescue. We rescued 35 during the sale and then another one after the sale for a total of 36, Jen. And that's, that's gonna put the medical team on overtime for we a while. Ready. We are ready. So any, any major injuries that you wanna talk about tonight? Yeah, so we ended up medicating five of them. Um, we got the little white pony that has the infected neck as well as the infected leg and possibly broken. Um, the standard bread that was limping really bad in the ring. There's a Palomino that's got a pretty bad laceration on the front leg with proud tissue, but was not lame. We'll see how it is tomorrow. Um, and then there was a sorrel gelding, and that was a little limping that we gave pain meds as well. So on first glance, there's a lot that really aren't that bad, um, but tomorrow can tell a whole other story. Who knows if anyone got any medication today or anything like that before we came, and also what radiographs will show. So we gave payments to the ones that we needed. They're gonna rest comfortably tonight and I can't wait till they come back tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. And just the process of getting all 36 on back to the shelter is gonna be a big endeavor. And it'll be, it'll be good though. I'm just happy that this isn't my first intake with y'all. I think the team has really narrowed down how to make a really smooth intake process. So we are ready for all of them. I hope so. Do you think we can get them all done tomorrow? Yes. It all depends on when we get out of here. So and our weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be sunny and dry. So we're, we're hoping for the best, fingers crossed. <laughs>
Well, we just made it to the auction this morning. And uh, what are you doing, Jason? You got a camera so, as well. So, Facebook Living. And uh, yeah, so if you're a member. Uh, well, this is Facebook Live to our supporters. Yeah, so if you're a supporter, thank you so much. And if you're not, then this is what you're missing out yeah, on. Yeah, you need to join. Uh, Facebook through the end of April is giving $20 for every new supporter we get up to $10,000. And they did this uh, around Christmas time. We got the $10,000. We'd love to get to the end, so uh, sign up. There's yeah, a there'll be a link in this video so you guys can go over to the supporter group and uh, sign up and get all kinds of exclusive content as well. So. Cool. Well, we're uh, we're gonna get in. We've got a lot of animals this morning to uh, to get intake, so it's gonna it's gonna take a little while to get this all done. But um, we got a, the whole crew ready to go. Oh, there's so many. This little pony looks like it's possibly got cancer uh, there by its tail it looks like there might be blood um, that's that's pretty rough oh, we got so many donkeys just makes me sick when people bring animals that are injured to auction and in Tennessee there's really no laws um, that prevent this from happening and so some people are like oh you know it's the auction it really comes down to the owners um, who bring these animals in this condition. But if there isn't laws to prevent that from happening, there's nothing that really can be done. Um, a lot of times people will bring horses to auction and say, um, well, I just got this horse. I mean, in the case of like horse traders and kill buyers, um, they're like, well, I didn't do this to this horse. I just got it, came in this condition. I'm bringing it here to hopefully get it to a better place. And, you know, that's the story if, if the reports are made that, you know, law enforcement is given. So really where all this comes down to is the borders need to be closed for exporting horses and to Mexico and Canada for slaughter. Because as long as that happens, every horse in the United States has a slaughter price on its head. and. People bring them to auctions and there's a slaughter price and they know that they can get money for that horse. So if they had a horse that needs euthanasia, they can take it to the auction and get $500, $600 for that horse versus paying a veterinarian three to $500 to have that horse humanely euthanized. Um, but if the borders are closed, owners will ultimately have to step up and be responsible instead of just dumping their animals here with a story or you know just part of the slaughter pipeline that well i just got the horse it was in this condition i'm bringing it here hoping it will get help or you know I'll just make its way down the slaughter pipeline so it's really frustrating but we're changing the lives for each and every one of these animals here and that's what it's about you want an apple <gasps> Oh, you want an apple. You know what that word means, don't you? There you go. He's like apple. And some people think horses and donkeys don't understand. And I said, I have an apple. And this donkey came flying over here. And he, he knew exactly what he was getting for breakfast. So that donkey, he knows what apples mean. So we've got everything set up. We're yep. going to run them down through here. Yep. yep. Cool. First, first group. First group, run everything down through here, then just into these, uh, into these pen together. stalls down here. Okay, cool. Yeah. That, so that, we want to um, run. We're running the horses down through this area so that we can get them out for Tawny. Out here, um, we'll do the, you know, the photos that we need for each horse, and um, then figure out what pen it needs to, what stall it needs to go in, so that they can all get ready for for loading up. And also running them down like this, we let them kind of choose which pens they go into so that they're able to kind of hang out with their friends. So it just makes it easier for everything and everybody. Yeah, now you know. Well, we're about to uh, get the first horse coming down through here. And uh, in these videos, we don't always show every single horse because when you have 36 horses, we're trying to show every single horse come through and get its photos. These videos would be hours long. But that doesn't mean you can't see that because over there, Tawny right now, 
is he's speaking to the Facebook Live. And the Facebook Live is just, we, 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 we let it roll throughout the whole intake, initial intake part here as we get them, uh, they get their photos taken before they load up. So if you ever want to watch just the whole intake process, um, then head over to Facebook and you can watch it live. I'm just letting them, talking to them about how uh, the Facebook Live actually will have every single horse and they can watch the whole process yes, there. Because yes. here sometimes we're not able to show everything or these videos would be like hours long. They would be. So. They would be really, really long. Uh, we have a nice little camera up here. It might be windy a little bit, so it might jerk a little bit there, but uh, you can watch the whole auction assessment here on our Facebook page. So definitely head over there. And if you're not a supporter on our Facebook page yet, please, please sign up. Yeah. And we know we're kind of pushing that a lot, the supporter thing, but uh, we $10, are... $10,000 at stake to help horses. Yeah, so $10,000 to gonna help horses. It. And it's good for you guys. I mean, you get to see exclusive content. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, a fair few people now in the media team. So we're able to pump out a lot more content to those different, uh, different groups. And so the Facebook member group, of course, and then... Um, or the Facebook supporter group, and then the YouTube member group as well. We have different things that go in there as well, which you guys saw a video we put out last week, I believe it was, um, in there that was kind of interesting. I won't give any spoilers if you're not a member. Uh, you have to go go be a member to check it out, but um, looks like we've got the first horse coming down here. Hey, baby. How are you? You're so pretty. What are we seeing on this horse, Tony? Um, old injury. And, yeah, it is an old injury. Um, it's pretty gnarly, and it looks like it probably hit it and um, opened it back. Opened up. it back up. I think I'm gonna wrap it because um, it's clearly already broken open once, and good for um, Yeah, it took its sin chill, and I don't want. I don't want it to open up more in the trailer and be bleeding. So we're gonna get some vet wrap and um, and help it. It's so terrible. It's nice with diapers as you can secure them. Just like you can around a baby's bottom, but you just do it around a horse's leg. And people actually give us, uh, they'll donate diapers to us. And people are like, why are they giving baby diapers to us? Well, this is why. So this donkey is just so sweet. It's an awesome donkey. It looks like a gelding. And because it's friendly, I would, I would guess that it is. So this horse, when it came through the ring last night, I just really, really liked him or her? Him? Him. 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 Um, yeah, he is really pretty. Just a paint, but his face, I don't know, I'll show you his face. His face is just super pretty. So uh, I was really happy we were able to get this one. Um, of course, always happy to get every horse, but Sometimes, uh, sometimes there's some horses you're just like, oh, I like that horse a lot. So this guy, he's pretty. What's with this horse, Jason? So during the auction, he wasn't even putting any weight on this leg. He was kind of hopping on three feet, or three legs. And uh, that hoof is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So it doesn't look like founder to me because there's not like growth rings and stuff like we normally would see with foundered horses it could have had an old injury and most likely it's got a very messed up coffin bone in there but we're really not going to be able to tell what's going on until we get x-rays so i mean for perspective you know that's my hand and that's it's, his hoof is as long as my hand so we're trying to get these donkeys uh we're trying to get these donkeys separated right, there we go so now we got the the black one in here it looks like he's got scars on his neck from maybe being bit i think he's pretty cute he's uh probably a mammoth because uh, they look both of them look pretty young but they're really i mean they're the size of full-size donkeys so um it'll be really neat to get him back to our shelter and um hopefully they do good yeah he's pretty cute and it's kind of challenging when we have donkeys because we can't necessarily hold to them um, getting photos is a little bit challenging but uh tony always gets a gets what she needs so yeah there they go so back in the uh the back here let's see what let's see what happens when uh we run these horses down so this is kind of the area they come through before they get out to where tawny is and they go into one of the uh one of the stalls in here 
And uh, how's it how's it going, Jason? So going, far, going well. Um, so far, they're all behaving better than I was afraid they were. Cool. And I believe this morning we had something, or maybe it was last night, but we had something happening with the round pen back at Horse Plus. So I'm going to cut back to you, John, there at Horse Plus, and uh, see what's happening with the round pen. So thanks, Caleb, for the update. We're back at Horse Plus. Uh, so you can see the tractor guys behind me are already working on the round pen. Um, we're planning on expanding it, making it a little bit bigger. It's going to be great for training the horses. We're going to start by scraping all the sand off the top so we can try to save it. Then they're going to bring in a bunch of churn and they're going to build it up about a foot all the way around and kind of taper off past the, uh, the poles here. This is going to be really nice. After the horses come through this section where Tawny gets photos of them and uh, they go past everybody there, um, they come back through here and I want to show you guys everything back through here. But Keith is back here and uh, he's getting them all in, uh, all in different separate you know, pens. So we've got some donkeys right here, got some horses there. How has this morning been going Keith? It's been going good. We separating out everybody into different pens. Uh, um, here comes another donkey, so we gotta get ready for that one. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> he was ready to come down. Get this gate closed up and uh, another, another pen of donkeys. Oh yeah. So this little pony is just really sad. Um, it looks to me like she's got cancer over here by her tail. Her tail's actually off to the side because there's so many lumpy tumors there. And then she's also bleeding by her rectum. And then multiple areas down her leg, there's actually pus coming out. And it was shaved down, so that kind of makes me think that she might have gone to a veterinarian to examine it. And then when they realized that um, there was nothing that could be done to fix it, uh, and she's foundered, they just brought her to an auction and dumped her instead of doing the right thing, being a responsible owner and humanely euthanizing her. They brought her to the auction and made money off of her instead of doing the right thing. Because every horse in the United States has a, a slaughter price on their head and a kill buyer is gonna ship a horse even if it has cancer like that. And at the slaughterhouse, they would just cut it off and process the rest of it. She's got a split front hoof. That's pretty, pretty big. Um, that's definitely going to take some, some uh, work to fix that. But she seems sound on it, so that's good. She's got shoes on the back. So these are these big, gentle giants. Kill buyers love to get them because uh, there's, it's what the slaughterhouse wants. We have a lot of Amish communities in uh, the area, and so most likely those horses were a working team together, and that's why they wanted to be together uh, so much, is they're just attached. So we try to keep them together. He's really big. So he is huge. There's Keith for you for a size comparison. I felt like a little ant. And uh, yeah, he is he's 40, a big boy. <laughs> 49. Hold on, I'm going to grab the tape and we'll see how tall this is. So Tony's going to grab the tape real quick and we're actually, uh, we'll get a quick, quick height of him here. Uh, we'll do that back at the shelter too, but. So there's, there's 15. That's like a riding size horse. Uh, 16 is a really big horse. 17 is an insanely tall horse. 18 is just crazy high. And then you go to 19 where it looks like he's 19, may, let's see, maybe 18 too, just insane. The next one behind us is bigger than this one. This other draft horse, the back hoof is like literally cracked all the way up. 
So the cornet band, it looks like it could just come right off, and then the front one's not much better. I'm trying to get this horse's hoof wrapped so there, oh, that's good. Um, so he doesn't rip his hoof off on the way to the rescue. Uh, hey, bud. I think it's very painful for him, so he doesn't want anyone touching it. And uh, he has been kind of trying to kick and stuff, so that's why Tony is on the other side of the, uh, the uh, panel there so that nobody gets hurt. So it's not the ideal wrap I would like to do, but I think this is the safest way to do it. So if we can't get this as stable as we can, like if he was in the trailer and he ripped that section off, it could just rip off the hoof, but it would, it could also get down to where the coffin bone is. It can make a bone infection in there. Uh, it could go up his leg. Like I, I couldn't in good conscience leave him like that to load onto the trailer um, and have him get really hurt. So this is a big lick stallion. Uh, he's been in a big lick show barn. They pulled the stacks off of him um, from what we know and um, brought him here. So uh, they wouldn't let his papers go with him because then he's traceable and they don't like their big wealthy farm names getting out there that um, they end up in the, the auction yards. And I've, I've gone and spoke when the USDA was looking at, uh, you know, people's opinions on ending Big Lick. Uh, they went across the United States and um, we had people speak in California. Uh, I came and spoke here and the thing I heard from the Big Lick community is we love our horses. We always take care of them. We retire them. They never end up in bad situations. And what I always ask myself time and time again is why am I the one at the auctions rescuing them? So one thing I'm seeing right off the bat is he does have like white marks on his legs. Um, but he's got a pretty bad scar right here. And so they couldn't show him because of that. So they put chemicals here um, and it literally burns into their skin. And when it causes a scar, they cannot show them uh, because the USDA inspects them for signs of soaring. And so he, has a really rough looking scar right there. Big Lick horses have to live in stalls. They can't um, run free or anything because they have these huge stacks on them. And um, makes it challenging because he doesn't know how to be a horse. Uh, he's nine years old. He probably went into the uh, training for Big Lick when he was, um, you know, maybe 18 months old, 15 months old. and been in a stall since then so he does not know how to be a horse which this does make it challenging uh, but we'll do the best we can with him Hall is a condition where basically a tendon contracts in their legs, holds, and then releases. They can't control it. Uh, usually it's just in one leg. Usually it's in horses. I think this might be the first donkey case I've seen. Um, but their, their leg will pull up way too fast. They can't control that. And then hold for a bit and then release quickly. Um, and it's very difficult for them. Uh, this donkey, she probably has a ton of lice on her. That's why she's so patchy. And it also looks like she might have found her on her front hooves. We have done uh, string halt surgeries before in the past, and it usually comes back. Um, so it's, it's not a good situation at all. Uh, so yeah, I always talk about uh, Sarah, who was always behind the camera. She would, uh, she would be working along, and then she wouldn't get food, and she was like, Eep. that's where I'm at. I'm on the... <laughs> We're on the downhill slope. <laughs> My batteries are like running low. All right, so we gotta get her some more pain meds. So we're gonna wrap his leg and give him more pain meds and uh, just get that leg as stable as we can for the trip.
All 36 have been uh, taking their photos and treated and sorted and ready to load up and hit the road. And uh, this poor little guy's leg, I got it as stable as I can. Um, it's got like four diapers on there and two things of vet wrap and uh, it's got pain meds on so it should be okay. Um, He's so sweet, it's, it's just really sad. I really am hoping that this is something that's fixable, but let's get the horses loaded up and then uh, get this horse little guy to be seen by the vet because that's that's what he needs. We need x-rays um, done. He's just so sweet. We've got all the horses loaded up and ready to head back to the shelter. We already have a trailer on the road. Our auction intake team is gonna get busy as soon as they arrive, and then we'll be following up behind. Um, but everyone's safe and ready to go. So the first trailer should be pulling in any minute. We got 36 animals last night. I know we got 11 donkeys, I know we got four draft horses, and I think we got a few mules as well. Um, I know the first trailer that's coming has a couple horses. One of them is a more critical one, has some proud flesh that we need to get looked at and cleaned up. And then the rest of that trailer is gonna be donkeys. And there's a lot of jacks this time, so we gotta figure out where we can put all the stallions. So this is a, a little young mare, Tennessee walking horse mare. When I was at the auction last night, she was really hunchy in her back end. Um, and it's only gotten worse from here. She's really not wanting to put any weight on that left hind at all. Um, so further damage could have happened in the pens last night, or she could have been on really heavy pain meds last night and not showing as much. I'm um, unable to tell, but all we know is that she's really uncomfortable and doesn't want to walk on it at all. Um, so we'll be doing radiographs and seeing what's going on. say it's more of just outer like a conjunctival energy injury but his eye itself looks fine so she's got either a laceration but they're equal so it makes me think she's been kicking but it's either a, it's a wound but we talk about you know either busting out an abscess from the hoof but with her, she doesn't have any visible arthritic changes, but we wouldn't expect that because she's a young girl. Um, the other thing I'm concerned about is her left hip is dropped, um, kind of what we similar saw with one of the horses last week. So I'm worried about higher up damage as well. All of it looks okay to me right now. I really think because we will intermittently place that foot that it's not um, full, so I do think she has a chance with some anti-inflammatories and some rest palpation the way she's moving the leg I do not suspect any fractures um, the only concern I have is the left hip is dropped and doesn't move whenever she uh, shifts her body weight and places the left rear um, she's got a pretty significant cut down on her um, fetlock there uh, and what I believe they actually rode her through the auction <laughs> see what we can do to get this kind of cleaned up and see what we're going to do for treatment and hopefully help her recover. We're about to further assess the wound. Um, pretty severe wound she has um, right above her right uh, front fetlock and then just see how deep it is and if it looks more acute versus chronic or did it just happen or has it um, been there for several days. Looks like there's quite a bit of granulation tissue which makes me believe it didn't just happen right before the auction um, yeah, last night. 
it may be a repair that takes um, laying her down in quite a bit of freshening the edges or debriding um, old tissue and then trying to get that closed up. And it can't heal. It has way too much tension on it. Um, there's too much separation between the skin. Uh, we'd have to lay her down to sew it up, but I, mean, I don't even know if we, because it, yeah, because it has so much, um, oh, she's got, so there's pus coming from the top of the wound, especially on a joint. They don't have that many, that much skin to even close on a leg. And so I think we just have to do um, daily wound therapy, um, keep it clean. Um, do We can do some oral antibiotics with her, definitely some pain meds with her. This Palomino mare's got a really, really bad gash on her leg. Um, but she's really sweet and she's putting good weight on it. So we're gonna give it our best shot at this one. It's gonna take us coming out on the weekends and doing it and doing band changes every day. But Dr. Duncan's really hopeful that we're gonna be able to get this wound to close up on its own. Doc, welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. How have you uh, been? Uh, I have been doing okay. I, uh, I'll tell everybody what happens when, you know, I don't know. But uh, I have a detached retina. Ooh. So you're supposed to be face down and it didn't work. So now they got to do surgery tomorrow, which I'm not excited about, but you got to do mainly because of the downtime. But they're going to go in there. Y'all want to know how they do a detached retina? <laughs> they go in there and they suck all the fluid out of your eye, oh. attach your retina back, and then they put a gas bubble into them. And tomorrow they're going to do all that. <coughs> just put a band around it to keep pressure up in the eye. <laughs> oh man! Okay. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be back for next month. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you at least today. But we'll do what we can. <laughs> I'm drawing blood to run a Coggins test for equine infectious anemia. Slight rotation, really not bad. Just severe hoof overgrowth and cracking. Not, not bad, oh, really just his hoof. So it was just a weird rotation. So still not bad, I mean, just terrible. Hoof wall confirmation, just a lot of corrective trimming. It's come and go, surround me and engulf me. We could ditch the TV and spend a little more time reading books. We are back at the shelter. Everybody's back, all the horses are back, and uh, they're about to get unloaded right now. So um, I'm actually going to hand over now the filming to the film crew here. And I'm gonna go start working on editing uh, everything that we shot for the auction now. So um, it is over to Isabella and John. And I think Isabella's over here filming already. So um, yeah, horses are coming out. It's come and go, surround me and engulf me. We could ditch the TV and spend a little more time reading books and singing. Songs on the porch, sit here watching the daylight wane leaving. So what we believe happened is she had a puncture wound, at least one right on the cranial end or the front of her carpus, and that had caused some osteomyelitis, but now joint fusion because she's refused to use a leg. Forcibly, we can't flex, meaning we can't bend the leg, nor can we fully extend the leg. She's locked in the position that you see her in. Um, and unfortunately, there's no amount of pain meds that are gonna, and antibiotics that are gonna fix her at this point. So we want to make her as comfortable as possible. Heavy on me, they keep me from doing, going or knowing, sun comes. So she's got multiple draining tracks, obviously severe purulent discharge or infection coming out um, the rear thigh. But when you palpate her tissue, you can see my finger can depress all on her right side. But this tissue is just rock hard. So it's had severe cellulitis and infection. So severe infection damage to the tissue um, will likely affect her long-term. 
and it would be unlikely that a trial of antibiotics would help her at this point. And I think this will severely affect her quality of life long term and think that um, we should perform the last act of kindness. This next one um, is a Jenny donkey female. She has been running with intact jack donkeys. So when we bring them out of quarantine in 30 days, her and a couple others will have to be pregnant checked. I'm just gonna see if there is any pregnancy or anything like that. And she says, I'm not good with you. Close your eyes and be still. Close your eyes and be still. So with this horse, uh, at the auction we were concerned because she had some dangerous behavior uh, you know, with Keith and uh, she did try to bite me and then here we were, we were giving her all the vaccines and everything and then just trying to move her she, she became very aggressive, she was striking out at our staff um, and so the decision has been made you know, with the veterinarian that's here and her assistant and our medical team that Humane euthanasia is the safest option for everyone because we don't want her to hurt somebody here um, because she's very unpredictable and she doesn't act like a, a wild horse that is fearful of you. She doesn't really have a fear of people. I mean, basically where she's, she doesn't care if she bites you, kicks you, she's very unpredictable. The main thing is, you know, we were there to rescue her and even though it is ending with the last act of kindness, you know, if she stays here, she's probably going to hurt somebody and we just can't have that. And her behavior here, it's just continued to get worse and we can't have anyone getting hurt. So sadly, we have to make this call. So we had an unhandled horse from the auction who happened to be very unpredictable. Uh, she had bitten a few people here already and when I was trying to move her out, she actually struck up at me and it was pretty violent. So unfortunately, we did have to give her the last act of kindness due to safety issues. We are going to take x-rays of her front feet to check for rotation as well as P3 lysis, um, just to the degree of founder that she has. Uh, severe rotation to where her toe is pointing straight down at the ground. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> What's the highest number on there? 1398. We're, 1400 pounds. We're going to call him 14, about 1450. Let's call him 14. Buddy. You are too big. I am getting exceed for this guy, and he needs two syringes because we are going to give 20 cc's, and right now we only have 10 ml syringes. All yes. vaccines, we gave dewormer. All vaccine, dewormers. Exceed. Plus plus, we got that, we got strangles, and we got B12, probios, and electrolytes. And electrolytes. Yep. And your sound? You're gonna go quick, bud. Yeah, he is. Close your eyes and be still. There's the big guy. 18-3, holy cow. I guess that's what it takes to be taller than me. They gotta be at least 18.3. We're 18.3? Yep. It's going really smooth. It's beautiful weather. And um, yeah, we got a good system. Beyond it until we are nothing. Sometimes I feel like we're just words on a page. Close your eyes and be still. Um, what we saw today was we had a lot of skinny horses come through. Um, we did do our four Belgians and um, they're all super sweet. We medicated everybody with um, Exceed and um, some electrolytes, dewormer, and we also vaccinated them um, for strangles and we did a five way. So we are all finished up for today. We do have one more horse down there in the tent stall. He has a stallion that was a big lick stallion. Um, we didn't have a stall for him up here, so we just brought him down to our intake barn. Um, yeah. I think we're 
We're ready to go home. We are ready to go home. <laughs> Close your eyes and be still.